Welcome to Thought for April the 27th. Our readings are Deuteronomy chapter 13 and 14, Ecclesiastes chapter 6, and Acts chapter 3 and 4. And our thought is, you acted in ignorance. In contrast to his denial of his Lord on the night of his arrest, Peter is now possessed of total conviction and power. He and John heal a man who is more than 40 years old and lame from birth, who was laid daily at the gate of the temple to ask alms. Acts 3 verse 2. Everyone who frequented the temple knew him. He had never walked. His healing resulted in him entering the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God and recognized him. And they were filled with wonder and amazement, we are told in verses 8 to 10. As a result, all the people ran together to them, astounded, verse 11. This gave Peter a wonderful opportunity to tell them it was through Jesus whom God raised from the dead by faith in his name, has made this man strong, verses 15 and 16. This was the cause of this incredible healing, Peter's total faith and God-given power. Peter then says, And now, brothers, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did your rulers, verse 17. So many things are done out of ignorance. Many are willfully ignorant. But such is the tendency in human nature that there is no genuine awareness and resultant awe of God and his Son. Today the refusal to to believe in God is the result of willful belief that we are just the highest form of evolved life that needed no designer and creator. Peter's challenge to them is the same challenge as his words make to all people today. Repent, therefore, and turn again, that your sins may be blotted out, that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, and that he may send the Christ appointed for you. Jesus, whom the heaven must receive until the time for restoring all things about which God spoke by the mouth of the holy prophets long ago, Verses 19 to 21. If you fail to turn again and be baptized, you are telling God you prefer to remain in ignorance. But it is better to remain that way if we have no conviction about how these events turned the people and nations of nearly 2,000 years ago upside down in their thinking. The conviction of Peter and others led them to speak the word of God with all boldness. How can we claim today we have acted in ignorance in whatever decision we make? The last verse of our Ecclesiastes reading in chapter 6 puts the matter frankly. For who knows what is good for a man while he lives the few days of his vain life, which he passes like a shadow? Then, as we will read in chapter 9 verse 5, For the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing and they have no more reward unless they respond to the message of God through such as Peter, that times of refreshing will come at the time for restoring all things at the return of Christ. Let us admit we are not making our decision one way or the other in ignorance. Thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word. Remembering that word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.